At this point, having written and deployed the Hello app with Rails 6, we're ready to transition to the rest of the Rails tutorial screencasts. The majority of these videos were actually made with Rails 4, which might make you think they're out of date, but in fact the opposite is true. They're an indication of just how stable the core of Rails is, and how well Rails has codified many of the best practices for making web applications. This stability means that the things you learn here won't quickly go out of date, which is a real rarity in the software development world. On occasion, I'll add short text inserts indicating that something in the tutorial has changed since the screencasts were first made. Making note of these changes and updating future code examples accordingly makes for a good exercise in technical sophistication. When in doubt, you should refer to the text, whose code should always be up to date. If you believe you found some difference that deserves to be called out with a text note, please send me an email at michael@learnenough.com. At Finally, the rest of the tutorial uses a slightly different cloud IDE configuration than the one we've been using so far. In particular, it's stretched all the way to fill the screen and also uses a dark background, which used to be the Cloud9 default, and which you can configure yourself like this. Many developers, including me, like to use a dark background when coding, but it doesn't make much of a difference, and you should use whichever configuration you prefer. And now, without further ado, it's time to proceed with the rest of the Ruby on Rails tutorial screencasts. Welcome to the Ruby on Rails tutorial screencast lesson two, a toy app. In this lesson, we'll develop a toy demo application to show off some of the power of Rails. The purpose is to get a high-level overview of Ruby on Rails programming and web development in general without getting too bogged down in the details. Even though the app is only a toy, by the end of the lesson we will have deployed a live database-backed web application to a production environment.